So I've got a Garmin 945. It is a state-of-the-art triathlon watch. And when you wear it all the time, it provides a ton of useful data that helps me to program what my training is going to look like. It measures heart rate, heart rate variability, fatigue, your sleep, you know, all these objective data points to put up against my subjective feelings to help me figure out how I want to train for this race and how I want to approach this race. So I haven't been wearing this full time for a while because I don't like to wear it full time. It's it's cumbersome. It feels clunky, and it's just, you know, it's, it, it feels better not wearing it, but uh, I'm getting back to it. I started, I put it on again yesterday, and uh, I wore it through the night for the first time since September, and I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning. My wrist was on fire, my left wrist, where my watch was. My right wrist felt fine, but my left wrist was on fire, and it just felt really uncomfortable. It was all I could think about as I laid in bed at night. So I took the watch off, and my wrist, my left wrist, is still tingling and burning where, where the watch was. Now, I've started to learn a bit about the dangers of EMF, and this watch has a lot of EMF in it. It's got a Wi-Fi radio, a Bluetooth radio. It receives GPS signals. It measures heart rate. Who knows what else they've, they've jammed into this thing. And it's producing EMF, and that EMF is damaging my body you know I, I could feel it I could feel it tingling on my wrist even after I took the watch off my wrist was was burning and tingling and that's from the EMF of the watch I cleaned it before I put it on and everything you know this, this wasn't in my head I laid there and, and, and I felt the sensation it was not in the right wrist it was in the left wrist and this is something I felt before you know and I just really wasn't all that in tune with it and I, I would just kind of block it out and be like, oh, whatever, you know, it's just, I, I just feel uncomfortable wearing this plastic on my wrist, but it's more than that. So I'm making the decision. I'm not going to wear this full time anymore. It's not worth, you know, damaging myself just to have this data. I'd rather get a great night's sleep than get some data about my sleep. It's going to provide a bit of an obstacle for my training. I'm still going to wear it during sessions, but for the rest of the time, I am not going to wear this Garmin or any other smartwatches. I'm just going to be as close to nature as I can.